we have right here the Radeon HD5770 graphics card. It's PCI Express, 1 gigabyte of DDR5 RAM, supports 1080p full HD dual DVI out and HDMI out. So this is going to be the unboxing of it. Here's the, the the front of it, if I get too far. And it even includes a 10% discount coupon on Battlefield Bad Company 2. Bad Company 2. I've seen some reviews on that game on YouTube and stuff, and the game's actually kind of cool. Alright. Here is the box. And there we go. Wow. Let's take it out here. Here it is. This is the PCIe card. It takes up two slots in the computer. It's also going to need the six pin um, power, which most of the video cards these days take. That's pretty much it. You get the uh, crossfire connector so you can connect two of them together in crossfire. It's uh, similar to what NVIDIA calls SLI but ATI calls it crossfire. There's the... If you don't have a six pin connector you can... It comes with an adapter. And always DVI to VGA connector. These days who's still using VGA? Probably quite a few people, but my uh, my LCD screens are set up in DVI, so that's why I got this because it had the dual DVI, which I like having it set up that way. So there we go. This is the Radeon HD5770 graphics card. It's PCI Express, one gigabyte GDDR5 RAM, full 1080p resolution. An HDMI interface on the back of it as well. There's dual DVI. And yeah, this supports DirectX 11. Now, the earlier versions before, I think it was the 4000 series, was only able to handle DirectX 10. Um, that's before the 4000. So anything after the 4000 series is able to handle the DirectX 11, which is a lot better. It also supports ATI Avivo HD video and display technology. So you can basically, uh, let's say rendering video, uh, instead of using all of your CPU, you can pass some of that on to the GPU in the graphics card. So that's the technology that ATI has. So uh, there we go. This is pretty much it. Kind of a short unboxing, because that's all there really is. Alright, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the video below or send an email to questions at macintech.net. If you like the videos we have to offer, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash macintech. We'll chat at you later.